Hello. 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 Ready? Hello. Yes. Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex. Uh, got, this is uh, a gift from Magnificent Bastard Desiree Ingalls. Desiree Ingalls, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> So, um, I kind of love the name of the distillery. Yeah, Moondrops Distillery. Yeah, it's nice. It's a marvelous it's night like if, for a moondrop. If a children's story made booze. Yeah, it just made winking and blinking and nod one night. Sailed off in a wooden shoe. So what do we know about? So their website is all about grain to glass or Indiana, right? Again. Fortville, Sorry. Indiana. Sorry well, no, no, but you. here, but don't apologize just yet. Oh, are they sourcing? Because they're sourcing from MGP. <laughs> But right. they are not even sorry anymore. Yeah, they yeah. are actively making their own stuff. Sure. They just decided to source from their neighbors down the road. Okay. And they do fully disclose it. Look, and they don't have to yeah. because well, legally right. they're in the state. Legally mm -hmm. in that state, you don't have to disclose your distillation. But look what they did: distilled in Indiana, yeah. uh, resurrected and bottled by Fortville, Indiana Moondrop Distillery. Yeah. That's pretty blatant. So I don't feel bad for them now. I feel bad for them when they come out with their own stuff and people assume. Ah, it's just still MGP. MGP. Yeah. Uh, this is a single barrel of MGP. Mm -hmm. This is MGP's high rye mash bill, the 36 rye. Yeah. We typically did the 21. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is 36 rye, 4% barley, 60% corn. We've done it many a time, but, but I am. This is a different one. I am finding on the nose uh, a little bit more of a craft cola. Than I typically expect from the. I'm finding more of a grassy note too. Mm -hmm. Like the the dry corn, <coughs> grassy note, is actually a lot more strong. Yeah. yeah. Don't know how old it is. All right. How? how let's, we'll play, let's play a little mini game here. Hmm. We're doing an MGP review. <laughs> right. How much filler content? Do you think oh. that we can shove it? How many minutes worth? We're two minutes in. Oh, man. Depending on how this was edited, maybe a little bit. Like, look, if we were really on our, if we want to do this, if that's how you want to spend the rest of your day, right. which I don't really want to, right. we could go over hours and it would not be a problem. <laughs> well, let's, let's, be, let's be real clear, though. Okay. Of those hours, let's say three. Yeah. Of those three hours, it would probably be about 20 minutes collectively of us focused on that. It would be a lot of oh. rabbit trails. Where, no, it'd have to be. And then we tie right it back to this somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Easy. Like, yeah. Kind of like what we're doing now. Yeah, this where... is an example of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it does say aged a minimum of five years. So this is oh, at least a five year old yeah. MGP. It's got some age on it. Right? And then, yeah, I always find that cherry note. I like the cherry note. It's a good cherry. Like I think MGP color. makes good whiskey. This one's a little more grassy than I like. I like the higher corn mash bill that we have. Yeah, but people that like rye, mm -hmm. they don't hate the high, rash, mm -hmm. high rye mash bill MGP. Oh, and it drinks really nice. It's not overly oaked. Very spicy. Oh. Cinnamon. Come on, man. Almost a nutmeg. And then it's got a lingering sort of oil yeah. tinge. We, we have talked about how MGP, I think we were comparing the, the, the Remus mm -hmm. to something that was a higher proof. Yeah. Even though they get specific barrel selections to do their own line, the Remus. Yeah. It's just better if you do the higher proof. Yeah. This is at 100 proof. Yeah. Even though it's not... Cast ring. It still holds up. It, yeah, it, it, MGP lives really well at 100 proof. I feel like we would like these guys. Look at their tag. The magic of shared experiences, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like these, and that, you know, I don't mind the logo either. I'm kind of curious to see what their own stuff is like. Is there any, did you, in, in your research, did you see any kind of timeline? No. No? No. Okay. I mean, they're currently blending their own stuff into things. Okay. So, in theory, it's available now. Yeah, just using it maybe as like an yeah. accent or... Have you ever seen another gaps? state with an odd, very boring shape do an icon the way Texas would? Yeah, that's kind of... the mo there's, In the bottom of the label, there's the shape of Indiana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's if, like, huh. if I had to choose Indiana out of a lineup... Oh, no. I would think it was more square than that. Yeah, it'd be a lot yeah. of swing and a miss. Yeah. Before I ended up on it. Sort of looks Indiana. like if you turn Tennessee sideways. And then you made it squattier. And then you squattier. Yeah. Remember what I said about just filling time to. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> yeah. Because you look at the clock and it's four minutes and 20 seconds. Says. Why is the moon drop guy so mad about the star? He is very angry. Yeah. Yeah, he's very put out by the star. I saw this. Uh, we did the Austin Trail of Lights this weekend. On the, on the label. He's yeah, yeah. Out. We did the Austin Trail of Lights this weekend. Oh, okay. We walked it. We did a fun run. Yeah. And we walked it, and there's one scene where Trail of Lights is this uh, two million light light, yeah. something like that. 
uh, and you walk like a half mile of Christmas lights and light tunnels and displays uh, Zilker, and Zilker Park. Zilker Park. Yeah. Anyway, there's one where the cow's jumping over the moon and mm -hmm. it's huge, yeah. and the moon is very skeptical. Okay. Yeah, like he's not the, so sure. The cow looks huge. Yeah. Like it looks chunky. Yeah, yeah. And the moon, you can tell, is not certain this is gonna work. Having an ocean oh moment. It's like, yeah. Wait a minute. And that's what I thought of when I saw that. It's like, <laughs> wait a minute. I have, to have a bad time. Uh, so, the MGPs that we've had. Mm -hmm. Let's just get very clear. This isn't doing anything unexpected. No. Yeah. This is the high rise mash bill. They didn't mess it up. But uh, I'm glad they left it at least 100. So often people will get an MGP. Yeah. And they're just trying to buy themselves time so they can release Proof it to stuff, the floor. Assuming it's just not, you know, a label, white label distillery where there's, you know, a branding exercise for MGP. Uh, they left it at 100, which I appreciate. Yeah. Which is one of the little things that makes me more interested to try their own stuff because they could have taken it to the floor. I don't think, based on very little evidence, admittedly, but I don't think they're chasing maximum dollars. I think if you leave it at 100, flavor is important, right. quality is important. You still, even though it's sourced, you want it to be a good representation of what you, you know, is important to you and your distillery. Um, so, do they, they talk about the kinds of stuff they're making? Or are they focused on Yeah, they're doing a bunch of different stuff. I, can, I, I tried to just stay focused on the whiskey, but it's a bunch of non-whiskey things too. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah other types of spirits. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Room drops. All right. Well, but you know what, though? I have to say, for the MGP, yeah. um, Nothing goes better in hot cocoa than MGP bourbon specifically. Okay. I've tried a lot of bourbons in hot cocoa. Well, is there a specific kind of hot cocoa? Eleanor, no, just Swiss Miss. The cheapest shit you can find, mm -hmm. but you gotta put the, L, the MGP in it. It no, works a, best. That's a cast proof, is it? Yeah. You need to be robust in the proof? It needs to be robust in the proof so you can actually taste it and it doesn't just get watered down. Uh, did Lady <laughs> Lilith Parker mm -hmm. leave a comment? Yeah, again. Sitting here shouting, blatant, at my computer screen. Good thing I live alone and my cats already know I'm weird. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to come up with what's the opposite of a hidden gem. Yeah. And there were like 30 people so, who said blatant. Uh, we were saying like obvious turd. Yeah, yeah. someone else said blatant turd. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then she commented, blatant, blatant, yeah, yeah. blatant. Yeah, I think blatant turd could be good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's pretty aggressive. Oh, they got a vodka, a rum. You know, the graphic design's not as cool no, 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 they, yeah. on those as it is on the whiskey. Yeah. I could see they were trying to go for the same style guide, but it works better on the whiskey. Uh, we have Bruce at her two. Two, two, three, two. Uh, opposite of Hidden Gem is Blatant Rubbish. I, I like that one the best. Blatant Rubbish. Blatant Rubbish. It does allow you to sound kind of posh. Which yeah. You, which you enjoy. This, would you have your pinky out though. This is, oh wait, I think if there's a remnant, it might still be here. Of rubbish? No, 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 no. You'll see is it if, it, if it's still here. Ha ha! What is this? It's a packet, a little box. A little something I like to call, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is blatant, blatant rubbish. rubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not this, no, but no, no. you know, that thing we were talking about. And you kind of have, yeah. you have to hit the rubbish with rubbish. rubbish. <laughs> you gotta have a good jowl shake in there. Right, right. This is blatant rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything that we want to say about MGP that we have not said. We really, no, but this is good. It's classic. They did a good job. They picked a good barrel. They didn't yeah. go cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job sourcing. I think, you know what? We may edit out a few seconds here and there, but at the end of the day, I think us hitting... Nine minutes is respectable. Yeah, very respectable. <laughs> I think we just really nailed that. Yeah. Oh, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your lover's And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.